Our native um, fish uh, need to migrate as part of their life cycle, so we have a wide range of fish species that migrate to the sea to breed, and then we have a large number of juvenile fish like these ones here that actually move back upstream uh, into the freshwater habitats to, to, uh, to feed. And so the fishways provide passage past barriers. So if you put a barrier across a, a river like a weir or a dam or a road crossing, that stops the fish moving. And so um, the provision of fish passage via a fishway allows the fish to get past those barriers. We had to create a set of stairs for the fish to be able to come upstream and get past the barrier. And so we built this rock ramp fishway to create a series of small steps um, that allow the fish to come up, have a bit of a rest, then move to the next pool and step their way up just the same as what we would do if we were walking up a set of stairs. FBA received funding through the Australian Government's Reef Program to be able to complete uh, works at the Fitzroy River Barrage, as well as we're still doing two more fish passages on the floodplain here. Uh, so without that type of funding, these, these types of projects aren't possible and the outcomes that we get from them are also not possible. Uh, we know that the Lower Fitzroy floodplain is a, is a very dynamic type of environment. It goes, undergoes major flooding, uh, quite a lot of local rainfall. It's a highly productive system as, and part of an enormous catchment. So it's a really interesting space to work and it's an important space to work to improve its overall health because it provides many ecosystem services that benefit our Great Barrier Reef. The Fitz River Barrage uh, has had a fish passage on it since the 1970s but the first one that they put on there was a salmonid type of fish passage for American salmon and it never worked very well at all for Australian species. In 1996 it had an improved uh, fish passage installed on it which was a vertical slot fish passage and it facilitated some fish passage at certain periods of the tide. We've recently installed a cone fishway which wraps its way around the older fish passage. It improves the older fish passage by 10 times and it's also 10 times even better than the older one. So we're now passing up to 400 fish per minute uh, and that's initial survey work. This is a really big barrier for a lot of fish species in this region and if you look in the fishway here today you'll see that there are tens of thousands of very very small fish that are trying to migrate up and up into the fresh waters. And without these fishways, they wouldn't be able to do that. When conditions are good for local fish species to repopulate, we need access available to them. So by putting fish passages in place uh, in as many high priority spots as possible, uh, this is going to improve the sustainability of fish stocks into future generations.